everybody, welcome aboard to Hidden in the Universal Vault. So, today I am taking a look at a family film. This was released of last year, and it pleasantly surprised me because I really enjoyed this. We're taking a look from the DreamWorks Animation Library, The Bad Guys. Now, I wasn't sure what I was going into when I saw The Bad Guys. I heard this is one of those like animated films, and it's fitting up because this is actually one of the movies that actually got nominated in this year's Academy Awards in the animation category, leaving Minions Rise of Gru left out. And I gotta personally say, I had a great time with this movie. This is really one of these one of these kinds of movies that I think the animation is really, really good. The background, uh, character designs, uh, let's run down the good things about the film. You have, you have a uh, great animation. The CG is not like in your face CG. It has a very, very vibe that open, not open, uh, Turning Red had, and unfortunately Turning Red was a movie that was made by Pixar. This is sort of, but not made by Pixar. This is a Universal film. Universal just owns DreamWorks Animation these days. But I really like this movie a lot. I'll, I'll give you the rundown of who's all in it. I'll name you just a few that's in it. We have the, we have the star, the stars of these voice wise, we have Sam Rockwell, Craig Robertson, Aquafina, uh, Alexis Bra Alex Brotston, uh, the actress from Family Guy is in this. Um, really good movie. I think that's the whole cast. Uh, that I know. But basically, if you haven't seen this, this is basically a heist film, but it's in the vein of something like uh, like Reservoir Dogs. They want to do a sort of like kids version of Reservoir Dogs. Instead of humans, let's have them as as animals. So we got we got a piranha, a snake, a wolf, and shark. They go by the name of Mr. Shark, Mr. Piranha, Mr. Snake, and Miss Tarantula. Yeah. This is a heist film, but it's done really, really good. Like I said, it's a story of them. They have to get this, like, this uh, statue. No, this uh, award. So they're the bad guys. They're a group of, guy they're a group of animals. They're trying to get uh, this statue back. But it's overrun by this guy right here. I can't think of his name. He's like some guinea pig. I'm not 100% sure, but... Like I said, again, this is a really, absolutely really fun movie. So it kind of does a whole reversal. Some, some, one scene it, I would say, I, I did call it, but it's, the payoff is really good at the end. And basically, uh, turns out, uh, they introduce the names of these characters. This is actually based off of, um, it's based off a book by, uh, yeah, based on a book series by Aaron Bl Blabble? Blabber? I'm probably butchering that name wrong. It was written by Ethan Cohen. Not Ethan Cohen, Ethan Cohen. He's, it's not, I thought it was, I just thought it was written by uh, one of the Cunning brothers. But I looked it up, it's not. But, really, really good. There are some really fun moments. This is the kind of movie that I will easily say, this is going on one of the best movies I've watched this year. Uh, for Hidden in the Universal Vault. So, really, really fun. Uh, the the animation's good. I'm hoping Oscar Knight this wins in this category. But, really, 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 like I said, really good movie. I really enjoy it. I'm trying to think of what else. Yeah, it just says right here, animation, yeah, it says based on the best-selling Scholastic book series. So, that goes sure. I'm going to put that down. So... Put that right there. Yeah, really good. And the the humor is really good. Like I said, it's like one of those. Uh, it also feels like an action picture. It, it another thing it does. It also has. It's also similar to the. I want to kind of compare this to the Sly Cooper games from the PS2 era, where they have animals trying to do heist and rob and all loot and take all that stuff away. The, and in the film, we're introduced to a love interest, uh, this red fox. Uh, I should have done my research, my homework. She was like a red fox, but she's known as the Big Paw, I think. I could be wrong. Turns out she was actually one of the members of the bad guys. It's not spoiling anything, 
that's midway through the film. So she's like this sort of like ninja, but the action's like good and just so much fun. I can't believe I found a CGI film that was good. It's not heavy on the CG. Like, I'm getting sick and tired of CG being the new form of animation. I mean, they're, compared to Illumination, I've always praised Illumination. That studio is really good. I never found anything bad. So, like I said again, this movie had everything. We had colorful characters. Straight up animation that's like in your face. Like, the action is like tight. The, the climax at the end is so good. Don't sleep on this film. This is really good. I was surprised I got the Blu-ray, but unfortunately, the Blu-ray copy, Blu-ray doesn't work, even though I bought this. My, I, I watch, basically, I watch, all the movies I watch, I watch on my PS3. So, I use my PlayStation 3 as a Blu-ray machine. But unfortunately, you cannot watch this until you update the firmware. So unfortunately, I was left with the DVD. I'm sure the Blu-ray is going to look great and it's going to make the experience much better. But for now, I wanted to watch it, so I just I stuck with watching it on DVD. I actually got this uh, off of Listia for free-ish, so I paid nothing for it. I wouldn't even find the DVD though, but to get it on Blu-ray for free-ish sounds like a good deal. But yeah, it also has an animated short. Uh, the bonus feature is actually pretty good. We get deleted scenes, uh, does, uh, diverse the plan to make it a bad guys. Snake's Frozen Pop Shop, which is how to make, it's, it's basically, it's basically a babysitting tool. So you can teach kids to, hey, I'll teach you how to draw, which honestly they teach us more as a learning tool. It also has a cast reading table, which most of the time the cast is just reading from Zoom. This movie was, oddly enough, during the making, this movie was made during the COVID-19 pandemic. So a lot of this cast members, some of them weren't even soon. In fact, Sam Rockwell, who voices the wolf in it, was not even in the studio. They had to do it in his own house. I guess due to COVID-19 pandemic. Some of the cast members from watching the featurettes was in the studio. Uh, yeah. Is there any negatives I could say? I will say, like I said, one scene I kind of called it, but didn't make it a bad experience. Uh, but the payoff, like I said, without giving away, the payoff was really good. Um, it also has the lead scenes, and I think I talked a lot about that. So, yeah, there's just no denying this is the best movie I watched for Hidden Universe of All. So, I guess that means we can get down to the very end of it. So, final verdict. Should you see the bad guys? Yes. 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 See this movie. Really good. This is a movie not only for kids, but adults. This is not just a kids movie, but a family film. If you're like me and you were turned off by turning red and some of the some of the style in it has that sort of thing. Like I said, it kind of had a sort of... I don't want to compare it to The Neverhood, but that was more claymation. But yeah, if you thought turning red like I was didn't look, in, didn't look that interesting see the bad guys. But I don't expect the bad guys to win in the animation category. I'm just going to say that right now. This is not going to win the animation category. I was really bummed that Minions Rise of Groon didn't get nominated. I'm glad this took its place. And I think I'll have to watch Minions Rise of Groon compared to see which it is. But don't sleep on this film. Really, really good stuff. And I guess the series of books of the bad guys, I think they're like Ten of them, uh, the series of chapter books. I really want to see them make a sequel because I could see I, it did leave out for a sequel, but I really want to see them do a sequel to this. This is actually probably DreamWorks' best animated film, best CG film, probably since the original Shrek to really entertain me, and I was really amazed. This is this is the kind of movie I would probably throw on if I was a parent. So, if you're looking for a film for your kids to watch, or even a movie for your entire family, please see The Bad Guys. I urge you to go see this. This is definitely going on the top list of not just the best movie, not just the best movie I watched for this, but the best animated film, and 
the best kids movie or family film, however you want to say. But this is not a kids movie; it's a family movie. Really good stuff. The ending was so good it left me speechless. I'm like, that is so good. Do I really need to talk more about this film? It's that good. I'm telling you guys, I just really, really well made. I love the CG in this, and I could see this. Like I said, it's not going to win, but if I was a member of the Academy, you got yourself a winner right here. DreamWorks for the longest time. I didn't really bother with DreamWorks because I just, I guess I'll do a little mini unboxing. There's a slip. Honestly, my only negative is the artwork. I, I mean, the artwork's okay, but I'm not a fan of like the bright orange. I kind of want more creativity in their artwork. Like, when it comes to the movie, I only really... It's not about the artwork, it's about watching the film. And that's really what it is. But it does come with the... The movie does come with a digital code, but I'm not going to give that away. I don't even use digital codes, though. But I wish we got some, at least some disc art. The Blu-ray and DVD are pretty much back exactly the same. But I haven't watched... I just... I mean, all these other ones, I mean, sure, Shrek's a classic, Trolls, I never really bothered watching, How Train Your Dragon, Madagascar, Kung Fu Panda, and The Boss Baby just didn't look all that good. Well, Kung Fu Panda was actually pretty good. But like I said, again, I have another DreamWorks animated film, but we'll save that one for another time. But if you really want to, like I said, if you really want to watch a good animated film that of last year, this one's really good. I can't believe I missed this out in theaters, though. I should really get back to the theaters to see a lot of these movies, because this is really, really good. So, that's my review of The Bad Guys. Go watch the movie. You probably have seen it. Who knows? We'll find out if it wins. But until then, I'm Ryan Kinnar. Thank you so much for watching. V is a little longer. I'm going to try and make these a little longer. It's just me sort of like rambling. Uh, let me know if you've seen the bad guys. So that's it. I will catch you guys later. Bye.